Hello, I am Vikas Namadeva Prabhu. I would like to talk briefly about how I got interested in studying ecosystems. I have a decade of work experience at an IT firm in Bengaluru. And over those 10 years, I watched how the firm grew 10 times in size and 20 times by revenue. Now, while much credit is due to the firm for its successful strategizing, I believe some credit is also due to the ecosystem that emerged in Bengaluru at that time. By ecosystem, I mean that there were a range of complementary actors that enabled these IT firms to thrive and succeed. For instance, there were these top tier engineering colleges that were constantly churning out skilled IT talent. There was the government that was constantly improving infrastructure. They even built an international airport at that time. There were transport corporations that were providing a range of commuting services. And there were uh, significant improvements in mobile and uh, internet connectivity. Now, all of these kind of created an ecosystem that came together to enable the incredible growth story of IT firms. Now, scholars today may find it debatable whether this was a strictly ecosystem perspective, but at that time, I found it fascinating and that really got me interested in studying ecosystems. My dissertation investigates ecosystem orchestration, that is, those processes that significantly impact the nature or the scope of ecosystem value proposition. I asked the research question, how are ecosystems orchestrated? I have taken a case-based methodology to my study, which involves three case studies at three levels, local, regional, and national. I have used a mix of primary and secondary data sources to put together a comprehensive understanding of ecosystem orchestration in each of these three samples. My analysis shows that ecosystem orchestration falls into four categories, consolidative orchestration, discursive orchestration, cognitive orchestration, and performative orchestration. And when seen from the lens of these four processes, there are common patterns that emerge across these uh, three samples. And this enabled me to propose a process model of ecosystem orchestration. The process model of ecosystem orchestration, which is at the heart of my research, suggests that successful orchestration involves four crucial steps. There is the construction of identity, there is the crystallizing of workflow, there is broadening participation, and there is scaling and growth. I discuss how if any of these four steps are missed, then there is a high likelihood that the ecosystem falls apart. Now, my study connects with extent research in so far as it recognizes part dependency, as it underscores the importance of driving legitimacy, and it emphasizes the need to create and sustain value narratives. Now, while my process model connects with extent research, it also puts them into a common framework and connects them into a meaningful sequence. By doing so, I believe that my study can provide deeper insights into how to craft effective ecosystem strategies. Thank you.